Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, it's Model Rockets 321. We are back with another video. So I gotta apologize right now because in this video there is no audio. For some reason, my camera did not record any audio this day. And this is the day that I'm launching the mighty Saturn V on the E20. So here we go. There it is taking off on the E20. Sorry for no countdown, but it is a great flight. And we do get a little dark because we was out so early and the sun was just barely coming up and um, the exposure was a little under on the video. So as you saw, it just took off on the E20 motor. Um, beautiful, beautiful flight if you could see it in person. Uh, we should have both parachutes by now. Um, both parachutes open on the main body. However, one did stick for a little while, but then it did unfold eventually. And the capsule is a whole separate section if you're familiar with the Estes kit. So everything's on the way down right now. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. If you look really close, you'll be able to see it. And like I said, again, my apologies for the early morning kind of darkness with a nice, nice cloud cover. So there you should be able to start being able to see the rocket um, come into view now. Um, like probably like dead center. If you look, you can see it under parachutes right there. So. Just enjoy, enjoy this as it comes down. It was up there pretty high, so it's coming down. Probably is around, I think the altimeter read 344 feet. So it's coming down. Took a few, took a few minutes actually. It was a kind of a the morning was calm with a light breeze, but it was just took a little while for that big body to get down to the ground with its uh, with its capsule. So we're gonna follow this all the way through. As you can see those two parachutes are spread apart and it's heading down. Um, coming down nice and slow. And I'm going to go on over, you'll see this whole process and we're going to pick this rocket up and we're going to check it out and view it for damage. I won't spoil the fun for you, just going to enjoy this guy coming down. I do attempt to zoom at some point, but then I got a little blur and I'm going to have it on continuous, but it's still, for some reason, just act really weird. Yeah, the sun, it was really, the sun would have been to my back coming up in the eastern sky so that's why i'm in it's like barely above the horizon it's just underexposed today you can see those twin parachutes and the body in the middle coming down for a gentle landing so i'm already walking out to go and get it so it's gonna um gonna check it out as i go and get this guy but yeah this is the estes version this kit is the estes one i forget what part number actually um but it's the 24 millimeter one so it's from a while ago now they make this same kit in a 29 millimeter engine mount so you can fly it on the big motors and there you can see the capsules coming down the body came down first the capsule was a little bit lighter and it got a single parachute and the way it comes down is sideways um with the parachute at the top so you have a little anchoring system like up near the capsule and it's just rooted through the body with the uh, with your little shock cord and another line and it comes down sideways for anybody that's familiar so it's coming on down and everything's touching down right about now now when they're both in the same area like just a few feet from each other so i'm gonna get over there and you're gonna see this in a moment yes again sorry for the no sound it was a great great flight i will be flying this again and you will have sound this is um just a fluke moment and I decided just going to do a voiceover instead of scrapping the footage. Just going to go, I'm heading over now to go and get this guy. So we're going to check it out. And this is Model Rocks 321. And also, yeah, I didn't say it yet. So if you're watching this video, go on and subscribe to the channel. Check the links below. Shop Estes Rockets and um, use my discount code. It's IN underscore 321. Get yourself a discount over at Estes. Any of their products you should be able to get a discount however sometimes in some items they do not offer the discount on so many of them you can so i'm heading over right now to go and get the mighty saturn 5 and this is a redemption flight um because a while ago i had a situation where i had these fins on it that were 3d printed and it made it tail heavy and it was just flying weird it was flying weird and i just decided to go back to stock fins so i rebuilt the fins up and i put those on um and i had it ready and i've been sitting on it for a little while just waiting and waiting and waiting i was like you know what today is the day i'm gonna bring it out so I got out everything was cool the timing was right so here we go coming up to the saturn 5. So here we go. 
I just think everything was on the fritz. Yeah, I even think this is a lower frame rate where it's moving in kind of slow motion. I don't know what happened to the camera that day. So here I am coming up to it. Here's the main body laying down. I gotta say, all four fins were perfect. No damage at all. I thought if that those two shoots um, definitely worked out well. No damage to those fins. Yeah, this is definitely at a lower frame rate. It's moving really slow. And I just, just, just a weird, weird situation. But um, yeah, the motor was still in there. It's the Aerotech E20, single use. Yeah, both parachutes were perfect. No burns, no issues at all. I'm gonna head over to the body after this. Right here, I'm just, in the original video, I would have been talking, just giving you guys an update. Now I'm checking it out. So, yeah, this is definitely a lower frame rate moving in slow motion. And you can see this is about another, oh, that's probably a good, oh yeah, it's a little, it's in the same area, but it's just a little ways away from it. That is the capsule section with the LEM and parachute, single parachute. So I'm heading over to go get that. Yeah, this is why, this is why everything's taking so long because it's just, I don't know what mode the camera seemed to have done its own thing. I didn't make any changes. I did my normal thing. But for some reason this day it was just being really weird it's like a different frame rate and it's a and, and, and no audio now here's the upper section single parachute and it did suffer damage just a little you'll see i'm going to show you here the um the tower there was just look at my hand yeah, everything's in slow motion the tower had a little break i was checking i was like oh it would have been great had there been no damage but the tower had a little break um but yeah, guys, this was a great flight. I'm not going to keep this video going for too much longer. I just wanted to show you the Mighty Saturn V flight. Didn't want to scrap the footage, but I built, but I will be back with more flights of this guy. It was, and oh, I want to talk about that. The bottom got blown out of there. There was a little disc that goes on that was covering that section. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure if the ejection charge fired too much, but it blew that floor out, and that's where I had the uh, altimeter. But Mike. Mob Rockets was with me and he actually heard it hit. He heard something hit on the ground and it was the altimeter. It was right near our pads pretty much. So that was one of the only um, real issues that took place in the, in the other part of the damage other than the tower, which stayed on, which is an easy fix. But it's just something to look out for in the future. But I'm gonna wrap this video right here, guys. I don't wanna keep you too much longer. This is Model Rockets 321. We're moving in slow motion, launching the mighty Saturn V. I had to do a voiceover on this one so we will catch you on another video drop a comment and um see you on the next one three two one and i'm out